She will be an integral part of the UK's at sea mine hunting capability. RFA Stirling Castle is the newest ship in the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, a platform to transport and launch uncrewed boats to scan the sea for ordnance. A former oil rig support vessel, the ship has been repurposed to become part of the Navy's mine and threat exploitation group. She's an amazing piece of kit, slightly smaller than we'd normally have. Uh, she's only 95 metres long, um, about 6,000 tonnes, which when you consider our tankers are about 200 metres long is, uh, is, is a big step change for people. But the capability that she brings with regards to mine hunting capability, operating autonomous vessels and, and actually giving the Royal Navy uh, an opportunity to expand and test and evaluate their underwater vehicles is an amazing step change for both the RFA and the Navy. RFA Stirling Castle will augment the fleet's autonomous mine hunting capability. Joining the Navy's team that uses underwater drones to pinpoint sea mines and historic ordnance, developing the unmanned competency of this area of maritime security. So this is the main deck. The unique thing for our ship is our big offshore crane, which is obviously bigger than a lot of the cranes that you see on our ships. Uh, the idea is that the mine threat exploitation group can bring their boats alongside, the crane can lift them in, and then we can go to the next location. The ship's superstructure sides can be taken off as well as the stern ramp, which kind of gives us a multitude of ways of being able to launch the craft. While the teams will have their engineering capabilities, their, their operations rooms, so to speak, on deck, and effectively can bring the boats in and everything comes as a package. The ship is well kitted out, a maximum of two sailors per cabin with ensuite bathrooms, a single mess for around 30 RFA crew and 12 Royal Navy specialists that will be on board, and two gyms to keep everyone on board fit for service. As well as being equipped for autonomous mine hunting, this ship really does have all mod cons. Being a former North Sea oil rig support vessel, it even has its own sauna. As well as being a fairly comfortable vessel to serve on, this ship has cutting edge technology to help her in scanning the seabed to detect threats, including dynamic positioning, to maintain her location even in rough sea conditions. Okay, so this is Bridge of Stone Castle. Um, on here we've essentially got two bridges. So we've got the forward bridge, which is where we drive the ship from. So this is where we've got the main propulsion units, autopilot and manual control, uh, as well as the ship's mini wheel. And then essentially we've got a second bridge at the after the end of the ship, which is for the dynamic positioning operations. So from this position, we have the DP operators sat in the chair and they will essentially monitor the ship's position while in dynamic positioning. Dynamic positioning is a system where we take up to three GPS inputs from various uh, GNSS satellites. They feed in with wind sensors, vertical height sensors, the two uh, solid state gyro uh, compasses and that feeds in to help build up a picture of what the sea and the ship are doing. So it essentially allows the computer to build up a capability footprint and predict what the sea and tides are going to be doing. And then the ship's thrusters will act in the coordinates to maintain that position. Normally, if we you think of a GPS footprint, it's up to about three meters. So this, with all the inputs, will take it down to centimeters, allowing for a very accurate positioning. This ship joining the fleet marks a shift in how the Navy is dealing with the threat of sea mines taking on the role from the Sandown-class vessels and forging ahead with a new approach, focusing on developing that autonomous capability. David Civils McCann, Forces News, on board RFA Stirling Castle. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.